Yo, what is going on you guys, it's TL13 here, aka the Lucky 13 bringing you guys some more Call of Duty World War 2 content along with some Black Ops 4 thoughts. So in today's video, you guys will be watching a bunch of supply drop openings because, well, it's kind of what we're talking about, so I figured it's a little bit better than gameplay. I accumulated about five or 600 supply drops because I don't open them right away, I like saving and seeing how many I can get. But the Undead event was just about to end, I think it's actually ending in a few hours, so I opened all my supply drops, got all the armory credits, and I was going to use the credits to unlock unlock the new weapons and stuff before they all disappeared from the collections. Well, they never disappear, but you don't get the chance to buy them. So open all my supply drops. I ended up getting all of them in the collections anyway, so didn't have to spend any army credits, but that's why I opened so many supply drops. So in the midst of opening my supply drops, someone messaged me and asked me if there was going to be a video after I told him how many I opened, because he messaged me saying, how many do you have? Did you open, etc. So I told him maybe I'll post it, but I would speed it up and talk over it. So that's what's happening. That's why it's going fast, because I want to show as many as possible. There was a 37 minute clip, and that's probably the one I'm showing. I don't think I'm going to need to delve into the second clip I have, but that's why these supply drops are happening and that's why they are going fast. So in today's video though, you guys, we are not talking exactly about Call of Duty World War II supply drops. I wanted to talk to you guys about Black Ops 4 and if they will have supply drops. Now, as far as I'm aware, they have not talked anything about this. They have not spoke about the headquarters like we have in World War II. They haven't spoke about supply drops. They haven't spoke about what you're spending money on. All they really mentioned is they are going to have a lot of maps. So like there's no need for DLC. Of course, maybe they will still have DLC and they're just not talking that like just because they're doing so many maps but that's all we really found out and in world war 2 you can buy supply drops in black ops 3 i'm sure you could as well i know there were supply drops in black ops 3 so one thing i did really like about world war 2 though is the orders and the contracts and how you can get armor credits literally for free you don't have to pay for them or anything and you can get supply drops this way so doing this i really like how they did supply drops a lot of people like always think if their supply drops are some way you can spend money that it's pay to play but i mean like i said i'm opening like five or six hundred here and i haven't spent any money on the game so all you have to do is play a lot, do the orders, do the contracts, and you'll get these supply drops. So I'm thinking if Black Ops 4 did them this way, I would really enjoy it. I don't really like spending money on it, because like I know some people will, I know a lot of people will, and it's really not something you should be spending money on, in all honesty. It's like, it doesn't improve your gameplay or anything, all it does is like, give you extra XP for different variants. And I have like millions of different variants from not spending money. So if they do supply drops, I'd like it to be similar to World War II. I'd like it to be, you get them like a lot of them, but not like too many of them. Cause I get like maybe like 10 a day at least. Cause contracts, you can get like seven and then orders, you can usually get a couple. So then you get them randomly after games. So it's a really good system they have in World War II where the spending money option is there, but it's not needed like literally at all. And you can just get a bunch of them through casually playing. And a lot of people will message me when I'm opening my supply drops, which is understandable. I'm opening a lot, but people just kind of don't realize how easy it is to get supply drops or they just don't realize how easy it is to rack up on them because they open them so quick. So I think if Black Ops 4 did the supply drops this way, I think it would be successful. However, there's one thing I really do not like in supply drops and I'm kind of hoping it won't be in Black Ops 4 is different uniforms. I understand the appeal to it. I understand you guys see each other in headquarters. So you want to wear certain uniforms. I've opened way too many uniforms and I don't care about literally any of them. And I understand like you can't just give all, all heroic weapons and supply drops. That's what heroic weapon bribes are and only get one heroic weapon. I understand they can't give you too many good things, and I totally like agree with it. You can't just give someone all the good stuff, everything will fade away, everything will be boring. But I want everything in supply drop to matter. So uniforms really just don't matter in the end. There's a lot of cool things that do matter though, like titles and emblems. You collect them all, it's cool. But going through the uniforms has kind of always been a hard thing to like cycle through and figure them out. So I really just don't like them in general. And another thing is the helmets are really like underwhelming. Like all this kind of really underwhelming stuff that doesn't matter maybe it's just my opinion and maybe it is a good thing because enough people like it but i just think it's terrible and i really am tired of seeing it and it almost deters me from opening drops because i'm like oh epic and it's a uniform even if you want to have uniforms or like stuff that i don't think is really important don't make them at a high rarity because it gets people excited for literally nothing i get that if you get an epic it shouldn't always be an amazing thing or if you get a heroic it shouldn't always be an amazing thing but Something like a uniform that's just like super underwhelming to the majority, it sucks to open. So for example, now that I've opened thousand supply drops by this point in World War II, I'm not really excited by epics or heroics because I pretty much already know what I have and I already know I have variants of every gun. However, when it's a DLC gun, I do get rather excited. So when I do get rather excited and I see heroic from like a new drop, say an undead heroic, and I get really excited and then it's a uniform, it's just like the biggest slap in the face ever. So if Black Ops 4 does do this, I'm hoping they eliminate some of the kind of pointless stuff. If they want 
want to fill it more with like, oh, epic, I'm going to get excited for this. And then it's like bonus soldier XP. That's completely fine because, yeah, you're like, oh, I didn't get the epic weapon I wanted, but it's still a good thing. Whereas you get like a uniform, you're just like, uh, don't care. Or even an emblem or a title for that matter. They're pretty irrelevant. Like I like them. I like collecting them, but they are still like underwhelming, especially at the start of the game when you're getting like a heroic and a supply drop and then it's just a piece of garbage. So yeah, like I understand they want it to be exciting, but not like always exciting. Like you can't get the best thing in every supply drop and that's just how it is. So supply drops in general, I think are a great addition because it gives you something to do other than just playing. And it even gives you something to play for every day. If you have orders or contracts, if they want to do orders or contracts for something else in the game, like maybe you get XP just instead of like supply drops or whatever, because there are different things you can get in orders. You can get like armory credits and stuff like that. So if they want to kind of change a little bit and get something different, that's understandable too. I don't really need supply drops, but I want something I can be working towards. And I want something like every day that I can be grinding rather than just doing the exact same thing. I want to like be forced to have the variety for a reward. And if they can't do it with supply drops, I'm sure they can find it with other things, but supply drops seems like the easiest thing they can do. But that's just one man's opinion, guys. If you guys have a different opinion or even the same opinion, please comment down below or message me on Twitter. My Twitter is down below in the description. You guys can tweet at me or message me. I truly do appreciate it. If you guys follow me and want me to follow you back, you can message me telling me you follow me and you want to follow back, or you can comment on a video or you can tweet at me. Any of that does work and it's no problem at all. This is just my opinion overall. I think supply drops will be great in the game and I think it's just something to do other than just grinding cod all day. It gives you like something else to do, kind of like a cool down almost. So let me know though, guys. If you guys enjoy my Call of Duty World War II videos and you're looking forward to my Black Ops 4 videos, please subscribe on YouTube. I post three or four times a week and Black Ops 4 will stay the same, if not more uploads because more new content. And if you know anyone that might enjoy my content, please share me with them. I truly do appreciate it. But without further ado, though, you guys, I am signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. This has been TL13 with Call of Duty World War 2 and Black Ops 4 saying peace out.